Shimai GTA chums, we have the Camaro on discount this week, which is of course a Vigoro ZX in GTA terms, and I'll show you where to buy it. But first I'm going to customise it, and then we're going to take it for a little drive to talk about performance. And uh, there she is, uh, 1.3 million, the same price pretty much as the Coil Cycle on the electric all-wheel drive vehicle. Very different cars, one both that you need to consider, but for different reasons. Um, so, uh, the Vigero, we're going to look at um, everything, armour and brakes, everything is upgraded to the max, so you don't need to worry about that. But we do need to select a Liviari. Uh, we got the white stripes, we could go zero Liviari, of course. Um, that's, well, that's quite interesting, I'm not sure I like that one. Zero one, num number freaking one. That's good. Um, Bulco. I've always wanted to do this pig dog one. I think that could look really good. It's got Cox on FC on the front as well. But purple, is that my colour? Is it time to go large on that? I think it is. Let's do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm laughing because it's all going to go wrong, isn't it? Um, respray, so primary colour. We're going to go with a matte colour, I think, for this one. And it's either a grey or a black. So, I'm thinking... Black is probably a bit too much. Doesn't show up the Cox FC as well. So, it's probably going to be a light grey, I think is probably best for that. Mighty fine. Um, secondary colour, classics, we've got the Midnight Silver on the secondary though. Let's let's reconsider that, I think that's probably a good colour. I think that might be as good as it's going to get, but let's have a look at if there's anything else, like a, a purpley colour. Something that might complement it, like a Midnight Purple. That might be the one to go for. Very dark. Spinnaker purple looks nice. Midnight purple doesn't look as nice as I thought it was going to look. I thought that was going to look great. But it doesn't. Not always right, are you? <laughs> um, oh, we could just go the same colour, couldn't we? Um, where's the same colour at, dude? You know what? I've done enough messing with that. I'm going to leave it. I think the livery says it all. Um, right. Trim colour. Oh, what is the trim colour? Let's have a look at that from the outside. Sorry, I'm just messing around here. Um, we've got the diamond blue. Maybe we need to go with the, the dark purple on the trim as well. It's either that or an ice white. Ice white looks great. Where's the midnight purple? Damn it. Did I see the purple or did I completely miss it? Nothing's here jumping out at me, but let's just see where we are. Oh, there we go, purple. There's a br oh, bright purple, midnight purple, looks blue um, through the tint of the windows. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Bright purple has got a bit of way to go, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Crumbum goes on the door. Done. Okay. Um, so let's go back to our proper customization. So we've got the carbon. Oh, we've got all sorts of mucky business on this. You see these chubby sticking out bits? I mean, we could go for something quite aggressive on this. I'm not really a massive fan of those, um, but maybe the trim fin splitter is the way to go. I think it's just on the right side of, of madness. So we're going to go with that one. <coughs> rear bumper. Okay, we've gone the overkill rear bumper. I'll just show you what you start off with, but I think the overkill, I just can't see this car without it because it just seems to say everything about what this car is about. Um, I'm just going to keep it probably forever. Exhaust, bronze, double exhaust. I think you want the doubles. You start off with these square off ones, which are all right. You know, I wouldn't necessarily spend, flash the cash on the bronze, but I think it looks great still. So I'm going to leave it. Saving me money. Black GT grill. Okay, I think the black grill is the way. His stock grill is also decent. Um, let's just, it's just a bit basic, I suppose. These, the honeycomb ones are very good as well. So we've got this one. I think I might go with the honeycomb just for a bit of a, something different. Very nice. Um, bonnet. Okay, this is the secondary hood. So we'll notice we use that secondary colour. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a big B on the middle if we get rid of it. A big B. Not a wasp, but a bee. I don't. I'm not sure. I like that big bee. <laughs> as much as it's part of the build, you can also have that one. That's all right. But I mean, 
that's nice. I like that little scoop, that cheeky scoop there. And that, that's beautiful. Um, but I just don't like that big B. Um, do I want the big B or what? Don't know. Um, the, you know what? Stock is very good. Um, stock actually, but is very good. The secondary works, so we're going to keep with the secondary basically. Um, louvres. So this is where we might change things a little bit. So we've got these funny-looking louvres. Oh, we've got zero louvres. I was going to get rid of the louvres, but it looks so different without them. Um, and I think the secondary colour louvres let the, the the roof, you know, swim through to the back to the back end. I feel like getting rid of that entirely would ruin it. What have we got? Race louvres with a little bit of a bend in them. We could get the stock. No, we're going to leave them. At, we're going to leave them. That's it. That's the trend here. Oh, look at that. The carbon GT mirrors. It's got the... Um, maybe we should do secondary GT. Those GT mirrors are quite nice. Why did I not select them before? Go, go for the secondary, even though they're obviously the, not the secondary colour. Um, muscle, we've got the right plate. And roof. We can wang a carbon roof on, but... I think the secondary roof is what we want um, to go with that secondary kind of look because um, we've just built it all around that basically. Carbon skirts are very good. I think they follow through from the front end but let's just see what else there is. No, just stuff that's a bit more aggressive really but I, nothing's jumping out of me, at me as being essential so we're going to leave it because it's cheaper. This low level spoiler is good. Um, let's have a look what else there is. Oh, you get the um, the Boars FC if you go for the larger spoilers, but I'm not a fan of the larger spoiler. I just think it ruin ruins the back end a little bit, but I mean, it's good. It works. It can work. But for me, personally, I just, I just like the lower level one. I just think that's what this car, you know, you, it looks nice, basically. Okay, we've got, okay, we can do that. Primary Sunstrip, Los Santos Boars. Yes, um, suspension. You need competition suspension for performance. Transmission is all done and all that. And um, this is where we're going to change things. These rims are original, but they're chrome, so you can't do that cheat thing where you change them to a, um, you know, to to black or whatever colour you want. So we're going to have a look, see what's it. Oh, we got a, a brake caliper, so we probably want to want to see that. Fujiwara Custom. That looks, that's pretty good. I um, should have. Oh, look at that, that's nice. I like these deep dish ones. Cosmo, but I just feel like it's not quite right. Hype 5 might be the one or something a bit more technical, actually, and complex. Synthetic concave. That has a, a kind of shininess to it, doesn't it? I don't think we can colour... We can probably colour the outside in on that, I assume. But I want to make it all black, probably. I mean, that's nice. That That's a deep dish. The endo... Uh, what else? The Hyperfresh. I barely use the Hyperfresh. So I might use it now, but... Oh, what's this one? Again, that's the Big Mamba. Oh, that is good. But looking at that, the Organic Type 2, I think that has a bit... Hopefully that all colours in. Let's just wang that on. There we go. It's all black. That's what we wanted. I think that looks nice. Very good. We could go purple, we're not going to. Tire enhancements, bulletproofs. And we could put the, the fuckery rims on, but we're not going to because um, I don't think it suits this build. Crew smoke. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that. I think that's fine. <laughs> Windows. We got we, we got them limoed out. And I think it looks cool. We'll leave that. Let's go. Okay, we have we have done a, spend a lot of time on that one. So it's got a lot more customization than the Rimac Concept 1, the electric car. That's one thing that it offers for a similarly priced car. Uh, one other thing that it doesn't offer is great wheelies. Um, look at the lights at the back. I like those tail lights. Very square. Like the Rimac Concept 1, the Cyclone, but not. But not, because it's like a couple of them. It's four rather than two. But problem is, the wheelies, they're up and downers. Or, oh, at best, right, here's the wheelie. It does this funny kind of um, levitating wheelie. So, the wheelies are very difficult, but it's one of the fastest muscle cars in the game in a straight line, so for, mus for drag racing, you might want to buy it, but um, some people, you know, Bruffy might say you can race it, but you need to be good. I've got to be honest, you need to be good. I think the Buffalo STX is by far the easiest car and the best car for, dra for racing and will give you better lap times every time. 
than the stock version of this and that from all accounts the HSW version is much more jiggly than this as well so it's not one to go for but this one it's basically like a Hellfire but with a bit more speed a bit more power so if you like the Hellfire you're gonna like this but are you gonna like it enough to pay, pay 1.3 million more to get another Hellfire I don't know I don't know if you will get use for it but if you're a muscle car fan definitely you will enjoy it and it has decent customization the Hellfire has decent customization as well but that's the main competitor um, if you do not race cars and you have a Hellfire and you need money then I can't recommend it uh, I think for me the Hellfire is always the better choice because it's better value but this is obviously a little bit faster so for long term it's always going to be the better car but it's also costing about twice as much so is it worth it? Big question. It's all in your court, basically. It's great, though. It's a great little car. Um, personally, I do prefer the Dominator ASP because I think it does... Well, it basically does amazing wheelies. And this does not do that. It does not do those amazing wheelies, unfortunately, um, that really satisfies me on for a decent GTA muscle car. But it does look pretty, and you can make it look however you want it to look and um, so for that reason you might want to add it to your collection and you will not be disappointed anyway once you get it out there and get it on the road anyway I think I think I've talked enough about this but I've not crashed it once so I've obviously learned how to drive it I've been driving it last week um, because I got it out ra on a random spur in a moment I thought, I've not driven that in a while very nice car so that's why I'm not crashing it basically let's look at the internals just to finish off the video Oh, a bit sickly in that pink purple it looks a bit too much but look at the electronic display which you can just about see over the wheel um, very very fast car oh I should say the weevil, the weevil custom will beat it in a drag race though so bear that in mind if you're thinking fastest car in the game it isn't oh remember as well when this was first released and all the kids were crying because it took forever because Rockstar typically just withheld it for a long time a long long time they're always going to do that uh, and people complained about it. Come on, it's a, it's a marketing ploy. You need to understand the times and you know what companies will do to get your dollars. So if we put it in garage three, I'll just show you the garage and I'll I'll compare it now just to finish off the video with um, the Hellfire, the Hellcat, um, which is obviously the Dodge um, rather than the Camaro version. Um, I'm not going to say whether it's Challenger or Charger, one of those. There it is. There's the Hellfire. Mighty fine car. Look at actually one thing I should say is look at it. It's exactly the same car on the inside. It's like they've definitely done a copy and paste on this one um, with parts of these two cars. So just bear that in mind if you're buying it. You do get liveries. You get a bit of maybe a bit of different customization. So I think I like the customization options better on the Hellfire. Now look at it because look you can blank out the front end and the rear end, which is for me amazing so I think you'll get far better value for money with the Hellfire so bear that in mind before making your decision great car though and um, certainly worth it anyway that's my muscle car garage and I've got a muscle car garage video I'll look for it on my channel and if you want to see all of them all of the best cars in muscle car related in the game talk to them about this car it's a great car don't let me put you off by comparing the two if you're a collector of cars then this is definitely one for you thank you very much for watching have a great day